Hey, what up guys? My name is HB and today I'm here to show you how to create the lead sound from Power by Hardwell and Kashmir. So let's go. Okay, so what we have here basically is just a saw wave, one voice, random phase all the way down. Now, oscillator A serves as our main uh, oscillator, but also as a mono uh, layer. And then we have uh, oscillator B uh, that serves as a stereo layer to give us a little bit of stereo width. Uh, so what we have in oscillator B is also a sound wave, uh, 16 voices, the detunement is set to 0 0.2. Uh, the random phase is all the way up, and I lowered down the level to 35%. Uh, so that gives us a little bit of stereo width, but really oscillator A is the main oscillator here. Uh, now if I turn uh, the filter off and bypass all of these, you can hear what we have so far. Okay, so now we're gonna apply a filter to both oscillator A and B. We're gonna choose the band 12, and we're gonna set the cutoff to uh, uh, 1500. Uh, everything stays in place. I just turned the, uh, the FET all the way up and the drive to 20%. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply an LFO to the, uh, the cutoff. We're gonna choose uh, um, LFO one. Let me just activate this. We're gonna just gonna click and drag over here, and I set this to minus ten. Uh, LFO one is set to envelope one eighth. Uh, copy this shape, and what is that gonna do? Is just gonna gives us a little bit of uh, of initial movement every time we trigger a note. So every time we we trigger a note, it's gonna go from negative minus ten all the way to uh, fifteen hundred. Uh, that's just going to give us a little bit of, uh, uh, of movement there. But what the overall cutoff does, it kind of acts as an EQ, just gives us a little bit of uh, frequency boost, boost, excuse me, around the, uh, the, the 1500 frequency range. Uh, and that's going to uh, uh, make the sound sound more nasally. And I think that's the really the, the main key to this sound is just that boost around that uh, uh, frequency area. Uh, I set the uh, the mix to 50%. That is very uh, important because if we keep it at 100, then the, the sound is going to sound very filtered. Uh, so this is with 100% on. And this is with 50%. So as you can hear, uh, we only want that boost of frequencies. We don't want to filter the whole sound. Moving on to filter number two, uh, what we have here, if I just activate this, uh, we have an envelope, uh, 164, copy this shape. We're going to go here. We're going to uh, uh, select the, uh, the master tunement, and we're going to set this to... Uh, uh, one directional and we're going to put this at minus nine now what i did is i set it to minus 12 semitones and that gave me minus nine uh, and i chose lfo2 and this is how it sounds with so as you can hear it gives us that that uh, uh, it goes really from really low to really uh, to the normal pitch really fast and then gives us like that squanchy type of uh, uh, lack of a better word that that, that <laughs> it gives us that that effect to the sound uh, but now let's move on we also have um, and we also have LFO3 that gives us a little bit of movement uh, by modulating the overall pitch. So once again, master tunement, I set this to, uh, to one and I brought this down to 40. Uh, let me just unbypass this so you can hear what it does. You can see also the settings for LFO three and that gives us a little extra movement on the pitch. So overall, this is how it sounds. If I exaggerate the LFO, uh, you can really notice what, what it's doing. So as you can hear, it really gives it a, a lot of character. Now, to top it all off, I have uh, the compressor on the uh, OTT mode, the multiband, just click here. 
uh, releases all the way up, attack all the way down, and I gave it uh, 12 dB. I think I dragged this down, the uh, the high band, to 90% just to, uh, uh, to make it less bright. And really, that's all there is to it. We have mono legato mode, and I have this set to uh, uh, 117 millisecond. Um, I also have this set to uh, minus 24, so we can have like crazy pitch down effects if we wanted to. So this is it, Re really simple, uh, as you can see, not, not a lot of stuff. I would say that the, uh, the, the key element really is the, uh, um, the, the, the filter that acts like uh, an EQ boost, but also uh, LFO2 that gives us that, that initial, uh, uh, I really don't know how to, how to describe it, but it, it, it really shapes the sound, uh, have like that squanchiness to it. Uh, so yeah, everything coming all together. This is how it sounds. This is the final sound. Let's hear it one more time before we go. And that's it. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to download the preset for free, you can do so. The link is in the description. Uh, and as always, if you want to join my live streams, I stream on Twitch. I stream under the username VHB, that's T-H-E-E -E underscore H-B. So feel free to join me, ask questions, I'm always down to help. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.